Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Rod or Two Brief. You know, I'm always thinking of ways to make the aquarium clearer. So today I'm gonna put in a reactor. So what is a reactor? You can get these from Bulk Reef Supply. That's where I got it. I'm not getting paid to say that. God forbid anybody ever pays me to say anything. You can put carbon in it, all kinds of stuff. Um, these are also the containers used for an RODI unit to purify your water if you're gonna be making salt water at home, okay? So basically the water comes in through an RODI unit. It's gonna screw into the bottom of the RODI unit. I'll put a picture up of it here. And then it goes through this reactor. Usually in the first reactor, you've got cotton, gets, you know, stops all the solids or, you know, copper from the water. Then the second chamber is like another one that's finer floss. Third is carbon to purify the water. You gotta have an RODI unit because you just don't want to use water out of your faucet. But what I'm gonna do, like this reactor came with a reactor container that you can put your carbon in. You know, it goes like so, and then this goes inside here. You put your carbon in here. So the water gets pumped in through the pump, and then it gets pumped in through here, through the carbon, and then out into your aquarium, a carbon reactor. It's great. Well, I just use carbon in bags, but what I'm going to do, I just put carbon in bags in my sump. I had an idea. What I'm going to do is I bought these filter floss rolls that you use for an RODI unit. I'm not going to use this at all. I'm going to just drop this in here. I'm going to put this on top of here, okay? So basically the water is going to get pumped in through the hose that connects to this guy. It's going to rush out through here into the chamber, and it's going to go up and out, get filtered through and out the other side, which is here, and back into the aquarium or sump. It's kind of like a filter sock, you know? And then the water is going to get sucked in from the sump, filtered through and out back into the sump. I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about it. Yeah, it's a life, right? You get excited about uh, dirty water getting pumped into a cotton tube. There you go. These are really, to, really easy to install. You just push them in and they lock in place to remove them. You're going to press this and then just pull the tube out. Next is to connect the pump, which came with connectors that go into the tube. I'm not gonna cut the tubes, whatever. You could, but I think it'll be fine. It's better to have them longer. This pump is the Synchro Silent by CJ, Italian manufacturer. I love CJ. it's all I use in my aquarium. Links to everything I'm using in the video description below. So the pump comes with a little screw thingamajobber. I don't know what it's called. I'm not a plumber. I'm gonna screw that in. And then once that's screwed in, you're gonna just put the uh, tubing into that guy. And again, you can take it out the same way by pushing. That's pretty much the whole setup. Again, I'm not gonna use the flow control. It comes with an extra tube. I don't need that because you would go from this to the flow control into that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put this in the sump. It's gonna get sucked up through here. Over time, this is gonna get all dirty and filled with stuff. And then I'm gonna put the water right back out into the sump. Uh, so it's a good way to filter out your sump, you know? And it's hidden below. Probably replace this. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe once every couple months. Just another layer of filtration to get the stuff out of the water column. I tend to like simplicity, simple things. I don't use reactors, dosing, none of that stuff. All right, so inside the sump, you see the water comes from the overflow. Down in the back, my filter floss is in this chamber. It flows down to the bottom, it comes out, and I've got, see stuff on the bottom there, right? I'm gonna put a little power head or pump in the bottom so it just moves that stuff around. This is my bags with carbon and uh, phosphate control. And then I'm gonna probably put the reactor back there because 
there's a ton of room so it won't be standing in water I mean, I could technically put the reactor inside the sump, but I don't need to do that. The only reason I would like to do that is because of if it ever leaks. All right, so I got the little reactor guy over there. So the water is running through it. It's getting pushed to the bottom, going through the filter floss and getting sucked up. It'd be more beneficial in the last chamber before it flows over into the return pumps. Maybe that's what I'll do actually. That way this is cleaner. I can put a little power head in here to blow the stuff around. And then when it comes over the top into this, it'll get filtered out by this reactor. So anyway, what do you guys think of this little project? The thing is pretty cool. Maybe it would be better to put this in here because this chamber is a lot smaller. So when all the water flows from this end and it's met with the pump, the pump picks it all up and it gets filtered. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, there you go, that's much better. So I got the little guy suction cupped to the bottom. I got both tubes in there. And then because of the length of the tubes, it's pushing the reactor right against the wall in the back there. So, yeah, you know, I like it. Again, I'm not into clutter, but this isn't too bad. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts to see if this is worth it or not, if it's a good idea. In about a month, I'll take a look at it and I'll let you guys know how much it's collecting. But I do like this flows out of the protein skimmer chamber down into here where it can get a little more I don't know the water can get a little more clean pull some of the stuff out of there where it flows over into the last chamber in the back with the two return pumps anyway thanks for watching take care and I'll see you in the next video thanks for subscribing